In today's video, I'm going to be going over the brand new Lucas Vazquez mini release out of position card. Let's get into it. So to start things off, we're going to talk about his price. He's coming in at about 88,000 coins. He can play cam, center mid, CDM. He has four star skills, four star weak foot, right footed and five foot eight. Also, he cannot become lengthy. He is explosive by default. Now, he can become controlled, but absolutely cannot become lengthy. Let's get on to the stats. So, starting off with pace, 85 acceleration, 86 sprint speed, then shooting, 81 overall, 89 positioning, 80 finishing, 89 shot power, 84 long shots, volleys and penalties kind of suck. Then we have his passing, 83 overall, 83 vision, 87 crossing, 75 free kick, 83 passing, 80 long pass, 87 curve. Next up is his dribbling, my favorite part of the card, 84 overall, 85 agility, 85 reaction. Actions, 85 dribbling, 83 ball control, 86 balance, and 79 composure. Now let's move on to his defending, 80 overall, 82 interceptions, 81 defensive awareness and stand tackle, 80 sliding tackle. Last but not least we have his physicality, 78 overall, 82 jumping, 93 stam, 70 strength and 80 aggression. Now let's do three cons and three pros of this card. Okay, so first pro is he's really, really good at dribbling. Second pro is his links are fantastic. And his third pro is his defending feels surprisingly solid. Okay, let's move on to some cons. First con is his shooting is absolutely awful in my opinion. Second con is he's quite weak on the ball, hasn't got much strength. And the third con is his height. If you're playing in midfield, you're gonna want him to win balls in the air, but he's quite small, so I doubt he will. So my verdict on this card, would I buy it and use it in my weekend league team yes and no it depends what kind of player i'm looking for i mean he's not amazing i'm not gonna sit here and say oh my god he's insane but he isn't the best player um and he isn't the worst player so you can definitely use him if you like super agile controlled players where you can dribble around maybe one or two people but you're gonna get pushed off the ball quite a lot and like i said his finishing isn't that good so overall i think i'm gonna give this card a six out of ten just because if his shooting felt a little bit better i feel like he'd be much much higher with that being said guys make sure you do leave a like on the video subscribe to the channel turn on notifications on we're on the road to 1k do not forget i stream over on twitch pretty much daily today is monday we're gonna be doing upgrades head over there and i'll see you guys there